hello students now as you already know what is quotient what is dividend and what is divisor in the division and you already know tables of 1 to 20 here is the first exercise that you have already done in earlier standard our first question is to find the quotient using tables you already know tables quotient find karna hai dividend and divisor would be given but we do not have to perform the division by using tables only we can find the quotient so our first question is 72 divided by 8 so how will we do it just think 8 ke table mein 72 ka baata hai 8 9 sa 72 so answer is 9 and Baju mein aapko reason likhna hai. This is the sign of because. 8, 9, 72. 9, 81 divided by 9. So, when does 81 come in the table of 9? It is 9 cross 9. So, the answer is 9. And I have, re I have written bracket 9 cross 9 equals to 81. 28 divided by 4. When does 28 come in the table of 4? 4 7s are 28. So, here is what I have written. 4 7s are 28. Next is 54 divided by 6. When does 54 come in the table of 6? 6 9s are 54. So, our answer is 9. 6 cross 9 equals to 54. So, the answer we get are called the quotient. Now our next question is to find the quotient only but by long division method that we have already studied earlier not by using the tables as we did in the first question but by using the long division method. This way this you already know dividend here is 4 divisor here is 396 and by performing the division we get the quotient 99 remainder is 0 in next question our divisor is 797 divided by 6 so 797 ko hum 6 se divide karenge we get the answer is 132 as quotient and 5 is remainder we cannot divide 5 with 6 so that is our remainder but we just have to find the quotient so we will write q is equals to 132 in the answer next is 8306 divided by 4 4 twos are 8 3 ko hum niche laenge but 3 4 se chota hai so hum do digits ko consider karenge now when does 30 come in the table of 4 30 doesn't come. So, usse kaun sa chota number aata hai? 28. 4 7s are 28. Remainder is 2. 2 is less than 4. So, we'll consider 2 digits. Bring 6 down. That is 26. 26 doesn't come in the table of 4. The lower than 26 is 24. 4 6s are 24. Remainder is 2. We cannot divide 2 with 4 further. So, our answer is 276 which, which is our quotient. Next, 743 divided by 3. Here we get the answer 247. Next is 804 divided by 5. Our quotient is 160. Remainder is 4. Now, our next question is the cost of 8 bags is rupees 1648 find the cost of 1 bag so we will write first what what we are given that is the cost of 8 bags what is the cost of 8 bags given rupees 1648 and we have to find the cost of 1 bag so what we will do we will divide 1648 by 8 
to get the cost of one single bag so here is the division performed our answer is 206 so the cost of one bag is 206 our next question is an auditorium has a seating capacity of 324 people find the number of rows in the auditorium if each row has nine seats now what does the question says ek auditorium hai uski seating capacity kya hai 324 what we have to find find the number of rows if in the auditorium if each row has nine seats ek single row mein nine seats hai to kitne rows honge pure auditorium so the total number of seats given is 324 each row has 9 seats so we will divide 324 by 9 to get the number of rows in the auditorium so here is the division the answer we get is 36 so there are 36 rows in the auditorium next question is ragini bought 576 meter of cloth to make dresses for the school function how many dresses will be made if each dress needs 4 meter of cloth now here number of dresses made by ragini how can we find we ragini bought total of 576 meter of cloth and one dress needs 4 meter of cloth so to get the number of dresses made by ragini from 576 meter cloth we have to divide 576 by 4 to get the total number of dresses that can be made so here is the division and we get answer as 144 so 144 dresses will be made